Yo, what's up, everybody? Good afternoon. It's about 2.30 right now. Monday, August the 22. And it's a pretty hot day in Istanbul, Turkey. Extremely hot. It's about 31 degrees today. So welcome, everybody. I'm going to be very active for the next 42 days because I've got nothing else to do. I just took a vacation, a well-needed one, a deserved one. And in 42 days, my parents are coming down to visit my fiance and I here. So I'm going to be full-time every single day from now on to set a really good example for my Discord group. So for those that don't know me, welcome to my channel and thank you very much. If you enjoy my content, please make sure you're hitting the like button just for the algorithm so more people can see my content. And also hit that notification and subscribe button as well. My name is Philicon, short for Phil, what people usually call me. And my goal is to provide you with top tier technical analysis from the perspective of a, I guess, a pretty successful trader, <laughs> or I'd like to see myself as one, right? After seven years of being in the game, used to be a mechanical engineer, and having a few hundred Ethereum ended up changing my life. So now the goal is to help people and pass on information and what I know. I specifically focus on RSI, MACD, price action, candlestick analysis, Fibonacci, and especially trend lines lately and also Elliott Wave Theory. These are my specializations. I'm a day trader and I focus on capitalizing on these small scalp positions each day. So welcome once again. So today we're gonna take a look at just some of the tools that I use for trading and also doing a quick market scan to show you guys how I do it on top of giving you a very detailed Bitcoin technical analysis. And it's, since I'll be very active for the next 42 days, make sure you guys are visiting my website at the top there, philicon.com. Make sure you guys are thinking of joining my premium Discord trading group because I think it'll absolutely be in your best interest to come trade and learn with me. Spending a few months with me, you're gonna learn so much. Not only that, there's a seven day trial right now. So make sure you guys are signing up. You're going to have to put in your information, but make sure you cancel it if you decide not to stay. Otherwise, you will be billed. So let's get on with this tactical analysis today. So one of my favorite tools that I use for trading, or websites rather, is called CryptoLoom. You guys can see the address here, okay? CryptoLoom.co. They do not pay me to talk about them. And this is not a promotion or sponsored advertisement in any way. I only use it because it gives me the ability to sort through the high and the low R size. So right here, you can sort it by high R size and also low R size to see kind of what's going on in the market overall, which is important in my opinion to get an overall vibe. So you see that nothing is high, nothing is too low, but generally the bias is if you look at the four hour and the 24 hour, okay, the four hour is getting pretty low. A lot of it's under 30. And on the daily, a lot of it is actually reaching the lower side as well. So the general bias is that the R size is low right now. Next thing I do is I look at the volume. I look at the four hour and the one day volume. I ask myself the simple question of, is anything moving really high in terms of volume or low, right? Is anything losing volume or gaining? You more, look, more so want to focus on what's gaining volume. So you don't see anything on the daily gaining too much volume. In fact, nothing is barely above 100%. Then you look at the four hour and you say nothing is also moving over 47.13% in the past four hours. So our size low, nothing is really picking up in volume. Now you wanna take a look at the percentage dollar movement, okay? Has anything moved a lot in percentage? We see that on the four hour, or on the daily, unfi moved down 10%, but nothing's moved up a lot. On the four hour, you see nothing has moved above 3.58%, where nothing has moved below 3.16%. So the ultimate goal is to find, so we know what, what kind of market it is now. Our size is low, volume is not picking up, and nothing has really moved in the past four hours. So this is how you formulate your general bias for this morning and this day so far while trading. And the bias is that nothing is actually moving right now. Nothing is picking up. So it's a pretty slow day, you can just tell for now, okay? What you want is you want high RSI above 70, low RSI below 30. If the RSI is high or low, then this means that the market's actually moving, okay? And we're reaching oversold or overbought conditions. Another thing that you want is percentage movements going up in the four hour and the daily. 
if the percentage movements are high, then you know that coins are picking up in steam. They're gaining volume, which means that there's interest in the market to buy or to sell. Okay. Another thing that you want is the dollar amount to be moving or the percentage amount of the coin in general to be moving. If you have something that's barely moving, like you see in the four hour here, be barely moving up 4%, barely moving down 4%, it means it's stale. You want something that's moving 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%, basically anything just moving. That's what you want. If the coin is moving, then you have an opportunity to catch a volatile market. You want to be trading a volatile market, not a slow and sideways market. Because if the market is slow and sideways, there's no volume, there's no movement, the R size neutral. It's really difficult to trade these kinds of days. So that's what I do first thing and foremost every single day. Okay, guys? <clears throat> so now just taking a look at the overall market here, you can go to a website called sandwich.finance. Sandwich.finance allows you to import all of your um, all of your watch list, okay, every coin in the USDT market on the futures on Binance, and then you can sort them, right? You get all of the, you don't have to manually add them one by one. That's what's the important thing. You just sort it here and you see Unfi moved a little bit down, right? Actually really down if you take a look at it. Uh, really, really down. <laughs> Huge down, right? It's ended up moving like 40% down. But Unfi is a really crappy coin to be trading. I'm telling you guys. Be careful when it comes to trading coins that you see that. If you see something moving up 2,000% and then down 81%, probably not a coin you want to trade. The reason for that is because it's too unpredictable and you want to trade a coin that's moving a little bit slower with less risk. Just because a coin is moving a tremendous amount, it doesn't mean that it's a coin that you should be trading. You have to worry about your risk as well. A very successful trader will think about how much they could lose rather than how much they could win. So the risk, the, the managing your risk and avoiding risky coins is should be one of your top priorities. For example, KNC or this coin here, uh, MKN, where this guy moved up 100%, this guy moved up 87%. Those are really shitty coins to be trading because especially when they do it on a one minute chart, okay? Whenever you see a coin do this on a one minute chart, that moves up like 17%, you avoid those coins entirely. You don't run to them and say, I could make money on this coin. No, stay away from these coins. You do not want to trade these coins. I'm warning you, okay? Go for a coin that's less choppy. When I say choppy, I'm referring to a coin with not stupid wicks like that. Stupid wicks like that tend to happen too often and there's a lot of risk, so you just stay away from them entirely, okay? Now, Bitcoin right now, I'm just going to summarize it for you quickly. I try to keep my videos around 10 minutes now for you guys, 10 to 15. So what we see is that this channel is really holding true. We see tons of movements. Finally, they changed the arrow to not be so fat. Thank goodness. Before, the arrows were so fat, if you guys noticed. Well, they, the color is really off. Good. They changed a lot of the, the arrows here. Looks a lot better. So you see that it's hitting here, 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 right? So because of that, you can say that this channel is holding very true so far, okay? Another really important factor is this trend line right here, okay? What we see, for example, here is the July 17 low or 18 low and July 26 low. Low, low on top of bouncing above this trend line in the channel, right? assume parallelity and we ended up bouncing there now on, on the four hour time frame we see a lot of things poking upwards but if we go to a higher time frame like the daily they're nothing but bear trapped regions or bull trapped regions these wicks you got to consider that the best way to draw it in my opinion is to draw it on a time frame that makes the most sense that's going to consider some bull trap and bear trapped regions so the best way to draw it is the body 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 Okay, and then find the best average as well. So in my opinion, this chart looks the nicest. So the question now is, are we going to bounce above here and start getting to the top of this channel? Now, the big resistance is clearly going to be this guy up here around this range. Okay, if I go to the daily, we see that everything above here are bold trapped regions. So the major resistance right now is 24,400 ranges. And the major support is this white line 
between 20,750 there. So we have a huge range of a possible 17% to move. If Bitcoin ends up getting into those ranges, it's going to be great. Okay. I think that Bitcoin possibly could get up to $26,000 if we hold above this particular region. Okay. But that's crucial. We must hold in this channel and above 20,750 for us to get to close to breaking above 25 or 24.5K, getting up to a possible top of the channel between 25.5, 25, 25.6. So right now, it's uh, lots of pressure are on the bolds to maintain this. On the RSI stances, we see that the weekly has definitely crossed over to the upside. But the big question is, is this going to be a bull trap? And is this a lagging indicator where we're just going to fall back down? Okay. So on the daily, we're trending down. We actually cross back to the negative side with the fast moving line. Okay. Our side's on the low side here as well, which is a good thing because it's on the low side. Of course, since it's low, well, it has a higher chance to bounce than to drop, maybe. That's how I'm seeing it. On the daily or on the two-day, we see that in a few days, actually in 12 hours, this could possibly start crashing down. So if this keeps going down on the two-day and we fall below this range, it's going to be catastrophic. And we're going to end up falling all the way down here to like 18,900. But right now, the good news is the two-day is showing kind of like an inverted pin bar, right? Kind of like a doji, like a hammer, but upside down. So that's a really powerful candle. And also on the three-day as well, this is definitely an inverted pin bar, which at the bottom of a major drop usually indicates a bullish momentum upside. It's the equivalent of this candle almost, but not as powerful. Okay, this candle here was really powerful. That one there. Whenever you see a candle like that, if it bounces to the upside and falls back down you probably want to buy it on a dip in my opinion but that was a hard dip to buy actually it got to the golden ratio range yeah not bad got to the golden ratio then just really really skyrocketed so right now people are asking me hey philicon what about fib right now fibonacci retracement i don't think fib is the best tool to use because you want to use right now i mean because you want to take a fibonacci retracement when a coin is moving in a very smooth motion so right here we saw that we saw that it broke it broke a lot of a lot okay like like if you see here okay if you see this trend line right here like that's a really beautifully drawn trend line and you see that it hits this point i'm just gonna take this out for now okay this point up there that point this point so when it broke down here at 23,471, it was goal time to enter a short position as soon as it broke above there, right, people were entering a short and especially on a retest. So I think that that lost a lot of momentum, right? Like this, this is a pretty, if you draw the high time frame, right, you see that, you see that there's just wicks coming to the downside with bear trap regions. But if you draw it on a different time frame, like a four hour, it's not going to look like that at all, right? The four hour is going to look completely different. It's going to look maybe something like that. So trend lines can be very subjective as well. That's what I'm getting to. So right now, just to summarize, the two-day MACD is 12 hours away from figuring it out. We're probably 12 hours away from figuring out what's going to happen. So this is going to be a very critical week, all right, of figuring out if we're going to hold above 20,750 20, and rally to a possible 25,000 or if we're going to break down below and see $18,900 ranges, okay? So stay tuned, guys. This is going to be, in my opinion, a very volatile week. There's going to be a lot of action, and this is a great time to consider joining my Discord group, honestly. Come trade with me. There's a seven-day trial. Check out philicon.com. All of the information is there, which is awesome, and September is coming up. I'm going to have my promotion for a lifetime membership coming up for only 10 slots, like I do every single month. I skipped August entirely. September, the promotion will come back for 10 lucky people. Usually I get about 100 people that message me, but only 10 people get it, which is the first 10. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get a lifetime Discord membership, which is valued at $600 a year. My Discord group's not going anywhere. It's getting really big and very respected. You're gonna get my full course version 2.0, Right, that's 29, uh, 29 hours over 53 lessons. You're going to get access to my second edition book, 
in about three, four weeks. I'm still printing it. And I'm going to send you guys an awesome Team Philicon merchandise t-shirt. That's an organic 100% cotton t-shirt with my logo on it. That's that's uh, embroidered on it. I made a bunch of t-shirts that I'm getting in about a week. And I'm going to send them out to people to include in the package. So if you guys are interested in that package, make sure you DM me. I don't mind getting you in nine days early. Actually, eight days early. So we'll go from there. Hope to see a lot of you guys join my Discord group and especially join my group as a lifetime member and pick up my course. So 42 days, guys, I've got. Let's hustle. I want to make some money.